Last week, my son had a pizza day at school. We booked it online for like six or seven dollars, and he chose to get a slice of Hawaiian pizza, an ice cream, and an apple juice popper. Recently in Queensland, the government introduced a container refund scheme where you can take your used drink containers down to the local recycling centre to get a 10 cent refund per container. My children love it. They go out of their way to collect containers from the park or wherever else, and once every couple of weeks, I take them down to the local centre to collect the spoils. For them, it's almost like a part-time job where they can make a little bit of extra pocket money. So of course, when my son had the pizza day, naturally he wanted to take home his empty juice container to add it to his collection. However, the teachers wouldn't let him. They said that he had to donate it to the school. I didn't know about this until after school that day, where he quite eagerly and openly told me about what happened. He said, Dad, I couldn't take home my empty popper today. I replied, Why not? Because the school said I had to donate it. But it's your popper. Of course you can take it home. No, they wouldn't let me. They said I had to put it in the bag and that I couldn't take it home. Another boy went up to the teacher to ask for his back, but they wouldn't give it to him. At that point, I was a bit peeved. The school had never mentioned this beforehand, and I honestly didn't know where the empty containers were going. I assumed they were going to be donated to the local Parents and Citizens PNC Association, but I wasn't 100% sure, so I emailed my son's teacher. I worded the email fairly nicely. I basically questioned where the containers were going and mentioned that my son wanted to take his empty popper home, but was told he wasn't allowed to. One week later, the teacher still hasn't replied to me. I get it. It's only 10 cents. It's not the crime of the century. However, over hundreds of students, 10 cents suddenly becomes 50 or 100 dollars. What are your thoughts? Should teachers be allowed to take away students' rubbish, even if that rubbish has monetary value? Was the school being a bit presumptuous when they forced the students to donate? I'll tell you what my thoughts are. Forcing somebody to donate is not a donation. The very essence of a donation is that it is voluntary. If the Mafia comes to your house and asks for a donation, making you feel threatened in the process, well, that's not a donation. That's robbery. Under Queensland law, stealing is described as follows. Stealing is taking something, it could be a car, an animal, an item of jewellery or anything of value that belongs to another person, without their consent, and keeping it with no intention of giving it back to them. The maximum penalty for stealing is five years imprisonment, although if the theft includes aggravation, carrying a weapon or physically harming someone, the penalty can be up to 14 years in prison. There is a lesser regulatory offence called shoplifting, which can include eating or drinking something in a shop without paying, swapping, removing or altering price tags, leaving a restaurant or hotel without paying, etc. If the value of goods stolen is less than $150, shoplifting falls under the Regulatory Offences Act 1985 and carries a fine of about $783. For goods valued at more than $150, shoplifting becomes stealing. So what are your thoughts? Although taking a juice container from a child is a fairly petty crime, it's not really shoplifting, is it? It sounds like it falls more under the category of stealing to me. Of course, I have no intentions of pressing charges against the school. Ultimately, they thought they were doing the right thing. They thought by collecting all the juice containers, they could raise a little bit of extra money for the school. I'm not arguing against where the money is going, just how they went about it. In my email, I mentioned that they simply could have sent a note home outlining their intentions. They should have told the parents that they plan to collect unused containers from students to raise money for the local PNC. I reckon most parents would agree. But by just taking students 10 cent containers without any explanation, and then have students heading home telling their parents that the school took their poppers, it's bordering on petty crime. If instead of taking the students' empty containers, they instead took cash, would anybody find that acceptable? I don't think so, unless it was made clear ahead of time why the students had to donate 10 cents. For me, it's not about the money. Under Queensland law, stealing doesn't have any monetary limitation. As long as the property does not belong to you and has some sort of value, you can't just take it. Doing so can result in prison time. To be fair to the school, I actually do like the idea of the school collecting unused containers, but it should not be compulsory for students to donate. The school should put specially marked bins around the eating areas and allow the students to make the decision for themselves. I know some of you might be thinking, it's only 10 cents. 
But that's not really the point. The ethical debate is that it is wrong to take somebody's property. The monetary value of it is irrelevant. If we allow the school to take 10 cents worth of stuff from each child, where do we stop? Is it okay to take 50 cents worth of stuff? A dollar? Ten dollars? We have to draw the line somewhere, and the only reasonable place to draw that line is at zero dollars. If the object has any perceived value, and the person does not want you to take it, then you can't take it. It's pretty simple, I reckon. Am I being too harsh on the school? Should they be allowed to take children's recyclables to help pay for other school programs? Should the government be funding the schools more so that they don't have to steal from the children? What are your thoughts? Let me know below.